Well, hello there. <clears throat> um, so, lately, some people in my life have acknowledged me for having ease and fun with dating online, especially on Tinder. So, I thought you can come along with me now and uh, I'm going to get ready for a Tinder date. And at the same time, I might share some beans some tips and tricks and some insights from my past dating experience uh, on Tinder. And I have some wine. So I'm just gonna get started. It's more fun for me to do something while I talk and not just, you know, not just talk. So tonight I have a Tinder date. We met yesterday for the first time and he really inspired me. He came to Spain from Argentina with a hundred euro in his pocket and now he has six successful businesses in Spain, which is really cool. And um, yeah. We're gonna to meet today tonight and he's gonna cook me some Argentine meat. So that's gonna be yummy. And um, as some of you guys know, I've been living in Bali and Australia and um, now here in Spain, in Mijas I am right now, right outside of Marbella in this gorgeous apartment. And um, yeah, so I've been using Tinder in all of these countries, more or less. And um, it's not only, like for me, I think it's like when you have the less point of view you have about something, the better. So one of the things I think why I have ease and fun with Tinder is because I don't have a lot of points of view or what it should look like. I have clarity of what I would like in my life, like what kind of energies I would like, but then I'm not vested in how that will show up. Like for instance, right now I'm asking for people in my life that have the energy of infinite kindness. And uh, that showed up in my landlord right now. And that's not someone I'm dating, he's married and has kids, but uh, it showed up in my life. And I don't have to control in what way it shows up. So that's pretty neat. And um, same with Tinder. I don't have the point of view that it has to be turning into a relationship or sex or anything like that. It can, like, I'm going to tell you guys, like, um, so many different stories of what have occurred when I've been meeting men on uh, Tinder. Like, for instance, in uh, Noosa, I met a guy that um, um, he just turned out to be more like a friend. And so he showed me improvisational theater he brought me to that and that was really cool for me to try and to be more me on stage and to be more in the moment with what i want to speak about and uh, he just opened up that world for me theater um, so how cool is that a whole new experience for me and another guy i met in australia he turned in to be just uh, a client straight away he had just gotten out of a really abusive relationship with a girl that was a narcissist. And uh, I had just gotten out of an abusive relationship with a narcissist. So he was kind of looking more for a healer than anything else. So he just turned into a client and how cool is that? Because I had actually asked for like, what contribution can I be with the abuse that I had experienced too? So the universe responded and I got a new client that I could contribute to. So that was kind of cool. And uh, what else? What else have I been doing online? Oop, that's my date. Hello. <laughs> I tried to get him on camera yesterday because he was so freaking inspiring. Um, but he didn't want to, so we'll see, maybe tonight. Um, what other dating stories do I have from Tinder? Hmm. Now I can't think of any 
anymore, but uh, I'm sure they're going to pop up. And yeah, yeah, that's what triggered this whole thing because there's been uh, people in my life that acknowledge me for like, oh, you seem to have so much fun and ease, and they haven't. So there was one girl that was like, um, wow, you're so cool. You actually said no to a guy. And I was like, why? Why is that cool? And she was like, well, I kind of, and she brought up this energy of like settling and take what she can get. And I was like, what? Say what? Is that what's going on for you guys? Like, what would it take for you to be the queen that you truly be and ask for the king that can totally rock your world? You know, what would that be like? And um, so we actually came up with this telecall. Uh, would you like to be a badass online dater that I'm having and facilitating in December? Um, so that's going to be lots of fun. I'm really excited about that one to uh, just like share some insight and maybe some more ease and fun with this whole thing. Okay, cool. Um, so she was like, uh, well, I would like to know, know more about your secrets about dating. So maybe we can do a telecall. And now we are. She's going to, uh, yeah, she's going to be on there, of course. And uh, I can't wait. It's going to be fun. That's cozy that you're joining me for this Friday night pre-date thing. <laughs> and my wife. <sighs> yeah. And one girl, she was like, well, I just meet guys that would like to have sex like straight away. That's the only, that's the only type of guy I meet on Tinder. Uh, so first off, I asked, like, okay, so what have you written in your profile? Have you written anything that you would like a playmate? Because sometimes people in, ask, uh, in Access talk about, like, oh, I want to have a playmate. Um, and for men, I learned that that means sex. So if you're writing that you want a playmate, they will immediately probably think about that. So uh, that's one thing, to be aware of what you're writing on your profile. And another uh, really much more important vital part is what points of view do you have? Do you have the point of view that all men on Tinder just want to have sex? Do you have the point of view that there's no good men on Tinder to, be, to date or anything? Because um, with your point of view, you create your reality. So, you know, if you have that point of view, that's what's going to show up in your life. And that's what's going to show up continuously until you change that point of view. So that's what we're going to look closer at on the telecall too, to let go of limiting points of view that are showing up and creating our reality and maybe not creating what you would like in your life. You know, what if you can have infinite possibilities showing up with this and uh, not be vested in what it's going to look like? Because um, that's one thing that she said to my friend. She looked at my Tinder and she was like, well, you're not really responding to a lot of them. And I'm like, no, because... I have this gut, inter you know, gut thing I know right away. So I don't want to waste my time or their time uh, with writing if I know I don't want to see them. So what's more kind to talk to someone for days knowing you don't want to see them or just not reply? And if I would die tomorrow, I wouldn't want to waste my time on um, messaging back and forth uh, when I already know I don't want to see them so yeah and and if there is someone I would like to see it's usually like really quick because um, I don't like like messaging back and forth for like days and days and days I just like if there's energy there why not meet right away and see especially now when I'm like I'm like one week here, one week there. I'm not like a long time in each place. So I don't really have that much time to just talk to people. I know, you know. So how much more are we making dating difficult than it has to be? Like, 
you know, what if you know right away if it's for you or not, and your body will show you, and if you allow yourself to have your infinite knowing, access your infinite knowing, you will know right away if you want to see that guy or not. Like sometimes I just act right away, and that's usually when I just know, because I'm being the question, and I'm just like, okay, I want to do this, I want to meet him. Like I can tell right away. And then that's what shows up. Um, so yeah, what if it's way easier than we're making it? I was joking with my friend, like what if we're making everything in life way more difficult than it has to be? Because um, maybe we think that we're gonna have too much time on our hands if we don't have any problems, or we're gonna, you know, um, we fit in when we have problems, or we, um, Um, yeah, you know, all kinds of stuff why we make things more difficult than it has to be. And I know some people, we're all different. I have this gut thing where I just know like, oh, uh, oh, uh, yes, no. And some people need more time to ponder and wondering about their choices and being with the energy. And yeah, that's from something called human design where you learn more about uh, what kind of type you are and how you work with things and making choices and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And it's so fun because I'm um, asking for people that adds to my life and adds to my receiving and yesterday, and no, I want to back up a little bit and talk about that, um, what our bodies knows. Because I always ask like my body what it would like to wear. And so I asked for the date last night, like, okay, so do you want to wear high heels? And in my cognitive mind, it would have been a yes, because uh, he would pick me up and we would go by car from place to place where he wanted to show me in Marbella. Uh, but I asked my body and I was like, no. So I was like, okay, I'll just wear uh, ballerinas. And I did. And I just, um, uh, sat down in his car when he came to pick me up and he wouldn't start. And I was like, huh, I wonder what's right about this. And then we ended up taking a cab to the first place. And then we ended up uh, taking a long walk from the first place to the other one uh, along the beach, which was beautiful, which we hadn't done if we had the car. So, and of course it's more comfortable to just throw off your ballerinas and walk in the sand than having like socks and high heels to carry around. So my body always knows and I trust that it knows and I don't even have to know like why it was having enough to have, I just knew my body was aware of something I wasn't aware of. So that's another thing that can be so easy instead of going up in our head like, oh, what should I wear, what should I wear? Um, yeah, it's amazing with these tools that you can use to make your life easier. Yeah, and it's so fun for me because when I'm traveling this much, for me, it's more important to meet people that I can that can show me around and want to go out on adventures and stuff like that. Like in Sevilla, I was talking to one guy that was from Turkey that was only in Sevilla for a couple of days. And pretty soon we started talking about taking a road trip. And uh, so we talked for a couple of days and then we had a dinner in Old Town in Sevilla. And it was fun and light right away. So we just chose to do the road trip. And that was the day after, like for Saturday and Sunday and Monday morning. So we just went on this road trip together, like not knowing each other. And that's another thing too, when you trust that you know and it felt light and fun and expensive, you just go with that lightness and it's just gonna create, continuously create more lightness in your world. So, uh, we went on this road trip and we saw so many different cities, Ronda, Granada, uh, beautiful hotels, restaurants, and we spent a lot of time together in the car and it, it was just like a lot of fun. So I met a lot of like people to explore with and adventure with and it makes it so much more easier when I don't have a lot of point of view on what's going to show up on Tinder. It might be a road trip body, it might be a client, it might be a friend, it might be uh, a lover, it can be anything. And that's what I've experienced, that it can be anything uh, if you don't have the point of view that it has to look a certain way, because then that's the only thing that you are gonna be able to see, because that's the only thing that's gonna match your judgment or what you think you want. 
so I'm more clear on what kind of energies and people I would like in my life and then they can show up in many different ways like I told you my landlord has the energy of infinite kindness and he showed up as my landlord and not as a boyfriend or anything like that so yeah if you have any questions you can just pop them in and I'll keep getting ready and then I'm gonna go get dressed yeah so that was a really cool date I had uh, here in the road trip it was really cool and we also only turned out to be friends you know um, so it's really cool <laughs> And it's so inspiring, like the guy last night like has created six really successful businesses, and knows a lot of people, and he saw my paintings that I've done on my Instagram, and he was like, wow, they're really gorgeous. Like, I know a, like a famous uh, painter here in Spain. Maybe I can ask him if you can go paint in his studio. I was like, sure, that sounds like fun, because that's what I've been asking for too, somewhere to paint and uh, stuff like that. Uh, so it's pretty cool when people show up and they would like to contribute to you and uh, like what you're doing and he's like you're really passionate I like that about you when I was talking about my business and what I'm doing and stuff like that and um, yeah so it's, it can show up in so many different ways and uh, I just was so inspired at meeting him um, yeah. like talking to someone that came from like nothing and he has created all of this now it's really cool and he says like he has like boats a house an apartment well everything that makes you successful in this reality and he said like oh that all of that is fun uh, fine but now what i really value is like time with my friends and family and you know, money is really cool and all that, but what I really value is the time I have with uh, with loved ones and, you know, creating. And he saw my Spotify that I listened to Pink. He's like, wow, that's going to be, that's one, uh, uh, like, um, singer I would like to invite to Spain next. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> Do that. And, yeah, someone that creates really big and, um, yeah, it's really inspiring. So, what else do you require? I need to fix my hair, but I can't do that here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to respond to him too. So many things to do at the same time. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually going to wrap this up and maybe I'll post the link in, um, for the telecall in the chat. But if you're not joining, uh, I would just like to encourage you to be like clear um, about what you would like with your dating and like what kind of energies you would like to include in your life and just have fun and um, you know uh, let go of points of view that are limiting you. You know, what if it can be so much more fun and easy and ease built and delicious and yummy? Um, yeah, that's what I would like to say. So, yeah, talk to you soon and have an amazing week and wherever you are. Mwah, bye.